Today, we are going over the top 10 brawlers that take the most skill in Brawl Stars. Coming in at number 10, we have Jean. With Jean, you really have to watch how you're using your ammo, and even how you're using your split attack. Because the split doesn't do too much damage, but if you can hit it at the perfect shot, and the, at the perfect distance, you can get a lot of damage off with just the split. It's good to save your ammo whenever you have your super, so that way you can hit them while you're pulling them with your super. If you combine his super with his gadget, it makes it so the enemy can't shoot for an even longer period of time. But since you can only do this three times, you have to watch how close you're bringing an enemy, and you have to watch who you're bringing close to you. Especially if there's a Shelly on the other team, or any good shotgunner, you don't want to pull them towards you because they can kill you faster than you can kill them. Gene would be higher on this list, but right after you use your super, you're just spamming your attack button and then spamming your gadget button right after. So for that reason, it drops his skill just a little bit. And at number 9, we have Sam. Sam has a really interesting super that takes a lot of aim and practice to get good with, especially with the combinations you can have since he has two different attacks when he does and doesn't have his super. You have to have good placement with his super, especially if you give it right to the enemy, they can just guard it and you are basically useless. You can do a few cool tricks with Sam, such as throwing your super to reload faster, and then you can pick it right back up, combine with a star power to heal, and then you have more shots and you get a bit of health. Again, with Sam, you do tap a little, so he would be higher, but he's not. At number eight, we have B. B only has one shot, meaning you can't spam attacks, and her molasses gadget not only slows the enemy, but also acts as a shield if you use it properly. With B, if you hit one shot, your next shot does double damage, and this is really, really important for B, because she only really chips with her single shot, and if you get the bonus double damage, it really helps B. Her shots don't move too fast, so you really have to be good with your aim, and she also doesn't have a ton of health, so you also have to watch how much health you have. You can't spam her attack, so that's why she's also not higher on this list, and a lot of people do spam her attack. Next, at number 7, we have none other than Mortis. Even though Mortis is close range, you still definitely have to aim his shot, because wherever he aims his shot, that's where he goes, and it's important to know where you're going, especially if you're shoveling right into the enemy. His super also heals him, so you really want to watch where you're aiming that, because you can clip multiple enemies at once, and that is really, really important for Mortis. You can do certain tricks with Mortis, especially in Brawl Ball, where if you super the ball forward and then use a dash and one more attack, you get right to the ball, and that's about halfway across the field. Number six, we have Gray. Gray is an all-round great brawler playing a decent amount of support and really good in 1v1s. Gray's aim is a little bit slow, that is okay, and you can use tricks like my teleport right there, where you can skip a wall and definitely gain a lot of time taken off when traveling. You can do certain tricks like shooting the ball and then pulling the enemy to get a good goal. And you can also pull the enemy and right when the hook hits them, you teleport backwards to pull them extra far. You can also do it like this. Next, we have arguably one of the most skilled, if not the most skilled, snipers in the game right now. Mandy gains extra range and with her star power, extra speed on her shot when she stands still. And standing still is obviously a deal breaker in Brawl Stars because you need to be dodging the enemy's shots. So being able to get your shot off perfectly before it even shows the range on your screen is key to playing Mandy because you can get that extra range and then start moving right after. You have to be very cautious with her super because it does take a second to charge up and you don't want to have it wasted. And that's why I have her so high. Look at my stats here. I did so well in that game, but we lost. At number four, we have the best sharpshooter in the game right now, Colt. Colt is pretty hard to get all of his bullets hit at the same time because you have the enemies constantly moving and you have to constantly move with them. His bullet storm is a similar idea, but since it takes longer, you also have to move with the enemy and be cautious of where you're aiming. Colt is definitely not for the tap firers, you definitely have to be aiming constantly with him. And his reload gadget is key to playing with him, but since I'm playing heist and I need to break the walls, I played the silver bullet gadget. Both star powers are definitely really helpful to him because one gives him extra range and extra bullet speed and the other gives him extra movement for dodging. Colt is probably the best sharpshooter in the game right now. Next up, we have Nani. Nani has a very, very unique attack, and that's why she's so high on this list. You can shoot around walls with Nani and get extra range than what the range meter says, and her gadget return to sender is very, very key to playing her. Later in this clip, you will see that I absolutely shredded a bull that I should have lost to, but since I had this gadget, I won.
Nani does a lot of damage, and you definitely have to have good aim with Nani, or else you are cooked. Nani can do almost 4,000 damage with no power cubes on impact at power 11, which equals to about 12,000 damage if you connect all three of your shots and all three of the little bullets that go with it. And that is just game-breaking for Nani. Nani's super is also kind of hard to play, because if you're playing the gadget that gives you more damage the farther it goes, then you definitely, definitely need to watch when you're using it because you could just get snuck up on while you're using it. There was my bull play right there. I probably shouldn't have won that, but I did. Again, the peep is hard to use because it's also hard to travel with. It's not like traveling with a normal brawler. It definitely takes a bit more skill. Next at the number two, we have Stu. A lot of people in the comments do say that Stu is no skill, but Stu actually does take a bit of skill, especially if you're comboing his super to get three supers at once. Both gadgets are good for Stu, but I personally prefer the heal one because I definitely feel more aggressive when I play it and get a bit of extra health. Stu is definitely a good ag aggressive brawler to play with and one of the best brawlers to play with in duels. His shots also fire kind of slow, but you can definitely tech them to get around walls whenever you do it because they kind of waver back and forth. If you dash into the enemy and right out, you can get them with the burn effect, which is really important to playing Stu as well. And at number one, surprising nobody, we have Max. Max is probably the best support brawler in the game right now, and combined with the four shots that she already has, she is game breaking, especially with the boost that you also have. You definitely can't just tap fire with Max, because every single shot counts, so that way you can stay alive and give good support to your teammates. Her speed combined with her hypercharge is also game breaking because it's good for not only area control, but getting the ball up if you're playing Brawl Ball. The boost gives you immunity, which is also very key to playing her because if you're low and you need to get out of a bad situation, you can just use the boost. Her hypercharge does automatically tap fire to your opponents, so if they are moving, it doesn't always connect and give them that supercharge boost, which is kind of a downside to playing Max. Like right here, you'll see that happen. Bull did not get it right there, but Tick did. Here I used the boost to get out of this situation with Edgar, but then I accidentally pushed it and we trade. With Max, staying alive is key and not just getting kills. You want to make sure you're chipping at the enemies to get your super, and you want to have a good stack so that way slower brawlers can get that extra speed or damage dealers can get up close. Her super definitely benefits some people like Leon or BB because with their hyper and their star powers, they definitely go a lot faster. That's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and drop a comment if you d agree or disagree with any of these choices. Here I'll let the video play out and at 4,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a Brawl Pass.